In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to measure dental arch forms for the ArchWire Select program. Here I will be using the upper member of a standard typodont for illustration. I begin by marking the proposed bracket positions on the canines and first molars. I plan on placing brackets in the center of the clinical crown. These points are often called the facial axes. For the molars, brackets will be centered over the mesial buccal groove. Using these landmarks, I will measure the intercanine and interfirst molar widths. Here I use a millimeter ruler, but for more accuracy, one would use digital calipers. On the typodont, I measure the intercanine width to be 39 millimeters. Repeating this for the first molars, I measure a width of 58 millimeters. Next, I will measure the dental arch depth. This measurement is defined as the perpendicular distance between the central incisor contact point and the centers of the interdental widths. I begin by placing a piece of tape over the presumed canine bracket points. I also place a light mark on the masking tape indicating the centered arch width. Next, aligning my ruler with both the central incisor contact point and the center width mark, I measure an arch depth of 9 millimeters. Repeating this procedure for the first molars, the arch depth is 33 millimeters. In the next tutorial, we will enter these measured values in to the search program. The program will compare the measured dental arch dimensions to those of a digitized preformed arch wires from 14 different vendors. Combined, these vendors manufacture 122 different arch wire products. These arch wire products can be grouped into 14 different classes. These are shown here. Importantly, within a class, the original archwire and its compatible preformed archwire forms can differ routinely by as much as 4 millimeters.